Yo, what's up guys? This is Ask the Health Coach and I'm your host, Carlos. Today, we're talking about one of the worst diets you could ever do. Let's get right into it. So today, we're talking about one of the worst diets you could ever do. This is a diet you may have tried in the past. You may be on this diet now. And that diet is the keto diet. And I'm going to tell you why this is one of the worst diets ever, in my opinion. Now, you may have your own opinion about it, but this is my opinion on why I feel this is one of the worst diets you could ever do. First, let's talk about the restrictions when it comes to uh, the keto diet. Let's talk about the foods you cannot eat. Let's go with the fruits first. There's bananas, grapes, mangoes, pineapple, apples, oranges, cherries, watermelon, all of these Fruits provide you with essential vitamins and minerals that your body needs. So we don't want to exclude different fruits from our diet. Anytime a diet tells you you can't eat certain fruits, I wouldn't do it. The second thing is the vegetables you cannot eat, right? So it says you can't eat potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, corn, peas, butternut squash, beets, parsnips, sweet potatoes. Great vegetable to eat. Very low on the glycemic index. It also has a lot of potassium, a lot of beta carotene also. So those are real good for heart health and skin and eye health, all right? The other thing is the beets. Beets right here. I'm drinking my um, beet smoothie right here. And a beet smoothie and this beet smoothie, or the beets itself, contain nitrates. Those nitrates are naturally occurring in those beets. What those do is dilate the vessels. So you're dealing with high blood pressure, high cholesterol. This is going to help out a lot in dilating those vessels to get better blood flow. It's also a good pre-workout. If you take beet powder in the morning before your workout, again, it's going to help dilate the vessels, which is going to help get more blood flow to the muscle tissues that you're working for that day. So anytime a diet restricts certain foods, such as vegetables and, especially vegetables and fruits, I would steer clear of it, okay? Now let's talk about some of the side effects when it comes to um, being on the keto diet. The one, you probably heard of this one, the keto flu. Some individuals may experience flu-like symptoms when starting the keto diet. At what cost, you have, you have to ask yourself this question, at what cost am I willing to lose this weight? Are you willing to experience headaches, fatigue, sweats, all of that, fevers? Are you willing to deal with that in order to lose 15, 20, maybe 30 pounds during this short period of time, okay? The other thing is digestive issues. Like I said before, you're not getting a lot of vegetables and fruits, a lot of whole grain carbs on this diet. It's very low. So if you're missing out on a lot of fiber, then you have digestive issues. You're going to have constipation, diarrhea, things like that. Uh, the other thing is an electrolyte imbalance. The, the, the diet's diuretic effect may result in an imbalance of electrolytes. Though that's your potassium, chloride, sodium, things like that. If you have those imbalances, that's going to lead to muscle weakness and also muscle cramping. So we don't want that either. All right. It also leads to bad breath. There's also been some cases of insomnia. Let me know if you've done this diet before. Have you experienced any of these effects I named so far? Has it messed with your sleep? Did you have headaches, fevers, trying to do this keto diet? All right. Uh, decreased exercise performance. Like I said before, if it's acting like a diuretic, it's causing muscle weakness and also cramps, things like that. Then it's going to affect your exercise performance. You're going to lose weight, but in that weight loss, you're going to lose some muscle tissue plus fat. That's why we don't want you doing a drastic change in your diet that's going to have you lose so much weight so fast. We want it gradual because we don't want to lose that muscle tissue, but we do want to lose the fat tissue. So we always want to shoot for about maybe five to eight pounds per month at the least, all right? Or at the most, I should say. Uh, also, people have experienced, very few have experienced hair loss. Let me know if you experienced that. Also, like I said before, it's nutrient deficiencies because it's a lot of vegetables and fruits you can't eat on this diet. So you miss out on a lot of key vitamins and nutrients. Um, so those are some of the side effects, right? Let's talk about some of the limitations that come when you do a diet so restrictive. So now let's talk about some of the challenges that come with the keto diet. Number one is it's not sustainable. Let me know in the comments below. If you've done the keto diet or if you're on it, do you see yourself doing this for the next 5, 10, 15, 20 years? Could you sustain it for that amount of time? If that's a no, then of course this is not a diet you want to do. Again, it's going to help you in the short term, but in the long term, it's not going to work for you. This is why we have to make those small changes 
change little habits day by day to get to that ultimate goal. Because we do it all drastic, losing that 20 to 30 pounds in two or three months, they, research has shown that that weight will come back plus more each time, about, not each time, but about 60 to 70% of the time, that's what research, research shows. Some people are able to transition back to a regular diet and keep that weight off, but for the most part, the majority tend to gain that weight back plus more when they do a very restrictive diet. The other thing that comes with very restrictive diets is the socialization that you miss out on. A lot of times when we're um, on these restrictive diets, we don't want to go out to places with friends, family, certain events because we don't want to be tempted to eat the foods that are not on that list for that particular diet. So in this case, this, gives, this makes you feel lonely. Um, you get overwhelmed by, okay, can I eat this? Can I eat that? You're overthinking everything. And this also can lead to eating disorders such as anorexia, bulimia, things like that. We don't want that, right? We want to make sure, again, like I said before, we want to make sustainable changes, things that can last for the long term, not just for the moment, okay? But those are just a few reasons why I feel the keto diet is one of the worst diets you could ever do. Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Have you tried the keto diet before? Are you on it now? Would you ever try it based on what I just told you today? I would like to know in the comments below. Again, my name is Carlos and this is Ask the Health Coach. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you get more videos just like this in the future smash that like button so others can see this video too and share this with a friend family member anybody else you know this may help out till next time peace